What up people, Realm the Legend here, welcome back to 80's Mini Wrestling Returns, let's get it popping. We've just had our big champs clash, we're going to be starting a little bit fresh. Uh, the only thing really, if you've watched the last episode, that you kind of need to know now is that I've broken up the Blade Blasters. They are now going to resort back to their singles, so we've got Babyface Laser, Babyface Buzz, because I find that we were a little bit weak on top level Babyfaces particularly with Brohan and Valedictorian being in the tag team division. So, let's get a bombing. Here we are, Monster Mayhem. Let's see what we get. Uh, a triple threat with no title attached, a TV title match, Cruiserweights match, again, no title. So, that we could probably build to be Zen versus Arizona since they're both going for the Cruiserweight record. Ladies title match, tag team title match, and a world title match. Some weird, uh, weird matches there on the card, but there we go. Uh, Exotic Rick just won the title uh, from Slammer, so kind of weird for him to get thrown immediately into a, a match, but we will do what we can do. What we what do we not have? Uh, let's do a tag team match here. Yep, that looks good. Right, so let's start off. TV title. What are we going to do with Rick? Um, I think, you know what we're going to do? We're going to throw Malice back in. We've not had Malice on the show for a little while. Uh, he had a great end of last year. Gone a bit quiet. We're going to bring him back after a few months in the quiet. See if he can come out with a surprise title win. If not, at least we've got a little feud we can run for uh, maybe a month between these two. So that's kind of cool there. Uh, uh, the participant in this mic spot will face the ladies champion in a tag team match and then face the ladies champion at Monster Mayhem. So, I'm thinking Alphette or I'm thinking Sparks. Linda's just dropped the title kind of definitively so we don't really want to get her back in just yet. I think we probably go with Alphette. She's undefeated this year. Uh, she's part of the faction with Zen, Hito and Manga. So. They're kind of coming out of the blocks strong. So we're going to put her in there. We need to find Bonsai. Where are you, sir? I think it's Mr. There he is. Power Surge. We are going to get this uh, faction up and running. That looks good. Uh, so we've got a one-on-one -on -one match, a ladies match, an openers match, and a tag team match. So as far as tag team goes, I think we're going to get Slammer and Blitz out and rolling. Um, Slammer great few uh, months with the tv title time to give him a change of scenery though and as far as their opponents go we just need to build up so, do you know what we could go with we could go with the faction we'll get keith blood and then we'll get death star boy and they can both represent the darkness who have had a big a big few months they've done very very well um, so we'll run the Death Star Boy and Keith, and they get Gothica as their manager. It's that quite a big match between uh, some pretty solid teams. The only one who's been quite out of the bunch has been Blitz, really. So that's a big one to start off with. Openers, uh, Mr. Man has been very, very good. Mystic Man, I should say. So let's get him in the mix. Uh, we'll throw... Let's throw Max. We haven't seen much. Ooh. Major Circuit. Let's go. Okay. A feud. One expecting that one. Let's get the feud on. Major Circuit. All right. Yeah. Uh, Mystic has done well in the Cruiserweight division so far. So we're going to try and keep him hot if possible. Uh, ladies match. I think we're going to let Linda sit out for a little bit. I think. I can't want to see where we can go with Sparks. She had a very interesting um, few months. Let's put her in against someone reasonably difficult. And see if she can keep it up. We're going to give her Russia, I think. If she loses here, then again, we can kind of let her simmer for a little bit while we build up other people. And that just gives us a singles match. Uh, I want to get Dicky Thunderbird out there just because he's had his heel turn. And let's give him someone reasonably low tier just to go over. Um, I'm here. 
Now let's do he has good skill rating, so we're going to give him hot shot. Hopefully he just beats him and then moves up the card. We're going to go with Canada. Let's get him there. Hopefully that doesn't give Hotshot the boost to go over, because we, we don't want that. We don't want that. Let's go! Nice and quick! So I've got my notes, as usual. Uh, so I've got a rough vision of where I would like it to go to, as far as the pay-per-view. But again, it's going to be down to who wins. So let's see what we can do. Wow! Was not expecting them to go over against the darkness. That's big! That's very, very big. Okay. Okay, a new tag team in contention. We, we do like freshness. Uh, Mystic versus Max. Okay, I kind of like Mystic to go here, because uh, he's done his thing. Yeah, he, he's had a good few months. Let's keep him hot. We need someone to go up against Arizona for at least this month, so he could be the guy. We're just going to see how Sparks does. It is Sparks... She gets big wins all the time. I don't know how she does it. Possibly the best underdog we've actually got in the whole federation. She's crazy. Alpha is going to talk that talk as we get the Power Surge faction up and running. And there we go. Heal Dicky against Hotshot. Hotshot has home advantage. This is where a heal win, surely. Let's get that heat. Let's get that heat, Dicky. Let's get the heat. So Dickie's on the rise, that's what we like to see. Heal Dickie Thunderbird, man. An Air Force of the Day. Rick, big win over Malice. Two former world champions now contesting over the TV title. Big win. Very, very big win. I'm quite happy with a lot of these results, honestly. Alright, let's see what we've got in week two. Um, this will result in tag team title contention ladies tag match i think we can use sparks and elfet together probably makes sense um we do not have a regular match job we're gonna go just a regular i was gonna go tag team but we're gonna go just regular because there's a few feuds i want to kind of start building um one of these teams has to be all oh, the all pros all stars has to be i think uh can they, they've not made it onto the list it's crazy Uh, so we're definitely going to go with the All Pros. They've just won. And who else was I looking at? Oh, we were going to go with, um, again, kind of a newer team. Building on the Power Surge faction. We're going to go with Hito, and we're going to go with Manga. Both members of the Power Surge. We're going to get Bonsai in the corner as well. No cheating, of course. No cheating. Uh, but that's a, that's a big one there. Building that faction up nicely. It's just a hope that Zen can keep up with the, the rest of the guys, honestly. So that's big. Ladies, um, Alpha, I think we're going to give her Sparks. Um, as far as Sparks goes... I mean, she's, she's got big wins. I mean, we could go Queen, actually. We could go Queen. Oh, we've got something. Rags and Riches, there we go. So that's fine, we're going to leave all that exactly as it is. That's perfect. Uh, mid Carter's match. Uh, kind of a difficult one. Duke's won recently, actually. So, you know, if the guy wins, we let him run. We see what happens. Mercenary. Oh, we've got another feud. Uh, we don't need it that way, though. We need it this way. It's fine, we'll just let that be. It's cool. No, not Denny! Not Denny, we need uh, we need Duke. He's the one who's winning. Right, that's fine. If Duke goes over, I mean... Every now and again you get a surprise person who forces a push, so... We'll just have to deal with it. One-on-one -on -one match. Uh, I've got a bunch of feuds I would like to start up. I would like to do uh, Zen and Dicky. I would like to do Flawless and Laser, I would like to do Vader and Buzz, and then I would like to do Pierre and Mammoth. So what we're going to do here, I think we're going to bring back Mammoth from Out of the Cold. Uh, we're just going to try and feed him someone. In fact, we're going to go We're going to go right down to the bottom of the pile. Feed him someone. 
Let's go with Wing Chun. We haven't seen much from him. Hopefully, Mammoth just does his thing. Uh, a Wing Chun victory there would be a problem. Mic spot. Let's just get Doc on the mic. Where are you, Doc? There you are. Uh, we'll have a little flavour. We'll, we'll give him a little flavour. Let's we'll give him my little mic flavour. Where's that eagle at? There you are. And then for the skit, I think we should go to the other champion, the cruiserweight champion, in a dramatic promo. Arizona, where are you, champ? And then whatever it takes to boost up your paw. Uh, that's fine. That's fine, and that's fine. You're gonna go to Kyaga. Shikyaga. Let's get your merch seven. Come buy your t shirts. My people need pay it. Right. Mammoth squash. That's what we want. Don't go winning. Don't go winning, Chun. We can't have that. Mammoth, huge year last year. Coming back with a back. Then we're going to build him, push him up the card. Uh, Drag promo four star. Let's go, Arizona. Here we're going to just see what Duke's got. Picked up a nice win. Let's see. Uh, let's see if he can keep moving up. He, he has another win. Okay. All right, Duke. I see you. I wonder if he's cruiserweight. That would be interesting. All right, Doc. Talking that talk. Four star. Doc knows what he's saying. And then here we go. Women's tag team match. Alpha and Sparks against Devastatia and a returning queen who we haven't seen for a little while. Wow. Queen has let her presence be known. And that's a four-star tag team match. And here we go. Big one here. Um, I kind of want to see Power Surge win here. But obviously, I have a strong affinity for Slammer. They've done it. They've done it. This is going to be a tag team right here. This is going to be a big tag team. Only two-star on the match. That's fine. That's fine. So we, we kind of got everything we needed here. Uh, with the ladies, we had the hills go over, which is... Not really what I expected. Slammer is injured. That's not good. But yeah, all is as it should be. We have a three on three match there. We'll, we'll figure that one out in a minute. So as far as the world title goes, we've... We want to do Bravo. Pierre's gonna out of the mix now. So I think we go... I think we go Bravo. The concern is who else we put him up against, because the only one who won at the pay-per-view was Zen. But even with my uh, my strong love for Zen, he's been booked a lot, and I don't need Zen losing here, and I don't really need Bravo losing here. This is tough. I mean, we could go with one of the old staples like Laser or Buzz. This is actually a very, very tough one. Let me book the rest while I think in the back of my mind about this. I really don't know. I really don't know. Uh, three on three. I think we can make this cruiserweight division related. Uh, we want to do it this way. So, babyface cruiserweight action. Uh, we've got Chet's. We do have Duke. Let's get Duke in there. He's had a good run, and I feel like he uh, he deserves a bit of shine. So we could throw Chet, Manga, and Hito are engaged in the tag team division. Hooligan, possibly. Warhawk. And then again, we go for the hills. Uh, Death Star Boy, we're not using in this division. I don't want to use Thunderbird here either. So it doesn't leave us a whole lot of heals, really. We can go with Blood, Piranha, and then Man, perhaps. So, Keith. And then Mystic. There he is. Right. That's fine. Nice cruiserweight stuff going on there. Uh, 
I still don't know what other baby face to put up there. Here we're going to welcome back Buzzsaw. And then obviously we're going to do the same with uh, Laser at some point. Buzzsaw has 15 push. Uh, we want an up and mid, really. Let's, you know, let's give him a challenge. I was thinking about doing Buzzsaw and Vader. I don't really want to do it the week before pay-per-view. We are on week three, yeah. We could do Tycoon. That's a big challenge for Buzzle. Big challenge for him to come back and face someone like Tycoon. Uh, Mike Spot, I'm going to give it to uh, Jet Set. Just because, again, I don't really know what to do with him, so we just need to kind of hold him in place at the minute. Wouldn't be the worst idea to get him involved in the tag team division somehow. So that's fine. Uh, as far as the skit goes, I think we probably need to keep the darkness popping. So let's go with Gothica. <laughs> now we're going to want a slight Vader, possibly Slash as well. Yeah, let's do that. To a uh, two pop will do. That's fine. Right. Who else deserves a shot? It says Pierre, but we, we've done Pierre for months. You know, it was a definitive loss against Doc. We need to move Pierre out of the division. Flawless is a heel. Zen, like I said, there's issues with Zen. If he if he loses, it makes his faction look weak. If he wins. It gives us kind of an old feud. We've done Zen and Doc plenty of times. I don't really know what we benefit from Zen as a world champion at this point. Uh, we've got a heel. He's in the tag team division. <sighs> this is going to sound very weird coming from me. But we are going to reluctantly put Zen in this position here. It's a massive win for Bravo if he goes over. Massive. If Zen wins, then it does mean we kind of go back a little bit, but it's fine because if Zen does clear Doc, then we can move on to maybe Zen against an up and coming heel, which is fine. It's a bit weird. I, I, I've super seen a Zen so much that even I'm getting a little bit sick of it. Only a little bit. Let's not be, let's not be silly now. Just a little bit. So there we go. Right, we'd kind of like to see Buzzsaw go over here. Although, if Ty if you know, if Tycoon says he's not ready to slip, then I'm happy with it. He's done it, right? Look, Buzz has been in the tag team division, has come back. He's never really been able to cement himself as a strong singles. He's really, he has really struggled. Uh, Jet Set, I don't know what to do with Jet. I really don't know what to do. He's great record. Loses the big ones, gets injured a lot. Don't really know what to do with him. Here we go, cruiserweight division. Nice mix of a three on three. We just let these guys get stuck in. Duke has come out of nowhere. He's booked himself strongly. Blood with the with the pin there. So interesting things going on in the cruiserweight division. Here's the darkness just talking that talk. No problem with that whatsoever. Big segment as always with these guys. And then here we go, Bravo versus Zen. Probably the two hottest baby faces we have at the minute, with the exception of Pierre. He's done it. I think with Bravo, I, I'm Bravo won March Madness. I'm obviously a big fan of the of the card anyway, so I really wanted to push him. I think what we need to do is get him in the TV title division now. He's had a few shots at the world title. It hasn't worked out, so let's bring him back. Let's bring him down, and then we'll rebuild him that way. Uh, but for now. Zen is back to being the man in the babyface division. So, we build Zen. Bravo, we drop down a little bit. We were struggling, you know, for the TV title division. So, Rick has a nice defense under his belt. So, we will we'll look, we'll look at getting Bravo in there. 
uh, Chance and Shipley. We know that. I'm still waiting on my foil for Chance Solar. Give me the foil for Chance Solar! When, do you, when does it refresh? Six hours. It's not there. I'm hurt. I'm hurt, people. Here we go. March Madness. No, it's not March Madness. <laughs> it's Monster Mayhem. What's going wrong with my brain? Right. Doc and Zen. We've had these guys battle so many times. The feud's kind of... It's been a while since they've battled, but because the feud is so long, do you go stipulation or do you not? It's like if you have Orton and Cena, you haven't had it for a few years and it comes back. Does it need a stipulation or do you just go singles? These guys have had such a record. I think we go... I think we just have the two. I think we just have them do their thing. We just have them do their thing. Uh, I'm going to give them all a one and one boost. I just want one and ones. Just give me ones. Yep, yeah, that'll do. So we're just giving them a little bit of a push and a little bit of a performance boost. But it's even. The best man will win. Uh, here, we're going to go to the Mega Bros. Me I'll, I'll get their tag team name uh, <laughs> ready one day. And then this is going to be Bonsai for Power Surge. This would be huge if these guys won. It also mean that we would have way too many high level baby faces floating around. So let's see what happens. Uh, good match there though. Power Surge gives them a good chance. Obviously their leader is now involved in the world title picture. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's lots going on here. Where do I have a Cruiserweights match? Without the title involved. Very weird. Uh, I don't... I don't want to book Bravo in there. And uh, Let's just get the title matches done that we know about. No stipulation required here. First time these two have met. That's fine. TV title. We're going to go Rick. I can't throw Bravo straight in. He's just lost a number one contenders match. I mean, realistically, that makes sense, wouldn't you say? Based off what's happened like organically i feel like that makes sense so i'm gonna give him uh i'm gonna give him his tag team partner and we're just gonna let it run and see what happens if he loses then he's had a good run got a shot didn't make it it's fine i feel like it makes sense though and then we can probably look to next month start building rick and bravo so that's cool uh and then we've just got a bunch of like i would personally prefer some title matches here So, Cruiserweight match, this is kind of hard to book. You don't want a non-title match with your champion. Do you know what would be a good feud, right? That would be a hell of a feud. Hill Thunderbird. Babyface Bravo. That would be... Do you know what? I am running that. I am running that! That is crazy. I need to write this down. I was I was thinking about going for Zen and Thunderbird. Having Babyface Zen, Heal Thunderbird. I thought that would be cool. That is a lot better. I prefer that. We will let these guys do their thing and then introduce whichever one wins the feud into the TV title division. I think. I like that a lot. Leaves us with a triple threat and a singles and a singles. Um, so there's some feuds that I wanted to do. To start them on a pay-per-view feels a bit weird. Do you know what I'm going to do? I didn't ever do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm just going to see who's got a streak in the minute. Uh, Mystic Man is 4 and 1. Devastatia we know about. Didn't really help me. Let's just see if anyone jumps out here. Uh, Rick is obviously champion. Bravo has as many losses, almost as wins. Uh, Smirnoff, that's all in the tag team division. The Dark is the world champion. Piranha's done alright. Zen's having a good year. Mystic's doing alright. Alright, this is just going to be a weird one. We're just going to throw some marquee matches out there, I think. Uh, we're going to go with Pierre. And I wanted to book Pierre versus Mammoth. Mammoth lost though. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. We won. Hello, 
Yeah, I was worried about losing, but he did not lose. So we're gonna go Mammoth Pierre. Do they have a feud? I feel like they should have a feud. Right, that's cool. Oh, it's because he's not a foil. Perhaps that's perhaps they do have a feud, but he's not a foil. Uh, so that's cool. We like that. Match here. We could go laser versus jet set. And just let these guys maybe just feud for a little while. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm not going to give them anything. And we're not going to make any stipulation. Laser's just come back from being in the tag team. Jet Set has been talking a lot of talk, needs a big thing. We'll just let them run for a little bit, see if anyone wants to jump out as a, a possible world title contender going forward. And then as far as the triple threat, I really have no significant plans here. We could just throw some big names in. They're all heels apart from Ace, who's not really done very well. Let's just throw the biggest names we got into this mix. How can we not book Arizona? The thing is, you don't want your champion losing non-title matches. I know that's what some federations do in real life. I'm not a big fan of it. Let's just throw the biggest names we have available and just put on a good match, I guess. It's weird. It's a very weird booking, but it's a weird match to have on the pay-per-view. Uh, as far as Skit goes, uh, we've got Invader, so I'm going to put him on. I think he's a Hulk as a type. So maybe we're going to have him doing some sort of weird... Some weird Skit, which essentially pushes forward the faction. Uh, he is a main event, sir. A lot of he's a Hulk. And then we're just going to get... Who else does he have? He has Keith and he has Death Star. I see. Yeah, we'll just let them do that thing. Got the cub can come out as well. That's cool. Right, that looks good. Like I said, I, I, I don't like the fact that we do not have a Cruiserweight Championship match on this show. But there we go. Mike Spot. Who's the best person who's not currently booked? Flawless? Actually, kind of weird not having Linda on there. I mean, she must have probably been an ever-present for every pay-per-view of the last year or so. But we're going to give her a break. Uh, we want a mic booster, which is that one there. Well, that looks fine to me. That looks absolutely fine to me. We're going to go, I think we're on the Olympus. No, we're not. How do I get that wrong every month? It must be impossible for me to get it as wrong as I do. Right, Silver Stadium. I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to the stadium boosts. I wonder if anyone who we've booked actually gets one here. No, it looks all fair. Here we go. Big pay-per-view. Triple threat. Guys. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of this random triple threat. The champion goes over. Now, say what you want. That puts over the Cruiserweight division. If the Cruiserweight champion is beating the big heavyweights, that's huge. Uh, Darkness doing that thing. Only a three-star segment. It's a bit of a shame. Here we go, Duke, who's just had an incredible run out of nowhere. Rick gets the win. We quite like that. Sometimes a babyface goes on a good run, gets a shot, doesn't get it done. That's okay. Big match here. Laser and Jet Set. Jet Set. He needs a, he needs a bit of momentum, but Laser also does. It's kind of a weird... Only two? Only two? Two? Thunderbird. One star? What's going on with these matches? There must have been some food poisoning in... In catering. Even Elfet gets squashed. What is going on on this pay-per-view? Food poisoning. Sabotage. 
This is crazy. Flawless, thank you. Alright, what's going to go on here? The Mega Dudes, are they just going to dominate? Power Surge, do they have a chance? Alpha has just been squashed. They've just been squashed. That doesn't bode well for Zen, it's got to be said. Here we go. Pierre, Mammoth, Hoss fight, Big Mans. Okay, Pierre with the win, but we might we might let that run, because we certainly can't throw Pierre back into the title uh, match anytime soon, not really. Doc, Zen. Double count out! Zen's classed as the winner on our screen, but as a double count out, he would not win the title. This has been a stinky pay-per-view. Stinky, I say. So Arizona wins that. Impressive. I think we could run this. I think we should run... Uh, I was going to go Buzz Vader. I think we're going to go Buzz Slash. As part of the fallout from this triple threat. I kind of like that. Uh, Duke did his thing. It didn't happen. We might have to throw Dicky into the TV tie. It is going to be heel versus heel, but sometimes you just can't argue with the results. Uh, big one here. Jet Set. Laser. Bravo needs rebuilding, which is fine. Sometimes we throw guys in there, we think they're going to get it done, they don't. Let's give it time to build. Uh, Flawless to this thing. Mega Dudes, the next dominant tag team. Uh, Pierre does his thing there, and then a double count out for the world title match. Which means Zen stays in contention with that very unusual... What a way to end the pay-per-view. That's embarrassing. Let's just have a little sneak peek what we're what we looking at. Tag Team Invitational. Interesting. Interesting. Right, people. Uh, that is going to do. Some weird results there. I think Dicky. It's a shame about Bravo coming down, but Dicky's going to go up, which is cool. He's had his heel turn. He's doing well. We're thankful for that. Uh, ambiguous title thing there, which means Zen's probably going to have to win a number one contenders match to get another shot. Otherwise, he's just going to have to float until he gets another chance. So it's all a bit weird. Thank you guys for watching Rebel Legends. See you again and peace.